Hi, and welcome to Aiken Adventures. Today we're taking you to Vero Beach, Florida. And if you're just now joining us on Aiken Adventures, then we are taking you to do all the best things and all the best places all around Florida. If you like that kind of content, then you're gonna to wanna to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida. And the first stop on our list today is the McKee Botanical Gardens in Vero Beach. McKee Botanical Garden is probably my favorite thing to do in Vero Beach, Florida. It's just so beautiful. I always feel like I've been transported to some exotic location when I come to McKee. It's about the closest thing to like a jungle trek that I think that I can do in South Florida. McKee Botanical Gardens opened as McKee Jungle Gardens in the 1920s and quickly became one of South Florida's largest natural attractions. During its height, it began to attract more than 100,000 tourists per year. But as Central Florida and Southern Florida continued to develop, McKee could no longer compete with the larger attractions which were available in surrounding areas. So in the 70s, large portions of the garden were sold off for the development of condominiums in the area, and a large part of McKee fell into great disrepair. But by early 2001, the gardens have been reopened and have highlighted the various specimens which have been cultivated here from all around the world. McKee Botanical Gardens is home to thousands of species of water lilies, orchids, bromeliads, and countless other tropical plants. about this trip to McKee because they've actually built in a children's garden. Last time we came here last year, they didn't have it ready. So this is the first time we actually get to see it. And we're excited to see how much Vivian loves it. Alright, for our next stop, we are heading over to the beach in Vero Beach, and we always like to go to Humiston Park. Now, Vero Beach contains some of our favorite beaches on the Treasure Coast, and Humiston Park is really beautiful. And there's also a playground that a certain individual We likes love the playground in Humiston Park because it's nice and roomy, it's big, it's got a lot of kids to play with, it's got swings, but it's also on the beach, and so we really enjoy that. Now there's a lot of things that we love about Vero Beach. And first of all, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful beach. And I know that we often talk about sand quality on our channel, but we love the sand here in Vero Beach. We think it's some of the nicest sand on the Treasure Coast. Another thing that also makes Vero Beach really special is the weather. If you come between the months of October and I think maybe April or so, you're gonna have gorgeous weather. For example, right now, it's probably about 78 degrees, which for me is perfect because I don't like when it's really, really, really hot. Um, and so June, July, August, probably not the best time to come, um, but this time of year is absolutely perfect. It's When 
when you visit the beaches in Vero Beach, you have to make sure to take advantage of their location near Ocean Drive as well. Ocean Drive has a number of restaurants for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There are even some ice cream parlors and some great places where you can get dessert. Additionally, there are a number of high-end boutiques and you can find lots of different shops and stores where you can find souvenirs, t-shirts, clothing, whatever it is that you're looking for. All along Ocean Drive, there are a few beach access locations like these parking lots that kind of extend back toward the beach. And then all along the sides of the parking lots are different shops and restaurants and stores. So it's pretty cool to walk into these sort of alcoves and check out the different businesses. That so we are currently on Ocean Drive in search of a really good ice cream shop because we had to bribe our little girl to get off of the playground. All right, we yeah. found our ice cream we place. We found a little ice cream place to go It's to called food. Cravings. So we're gonna satisfy some of Vivian's cravings. And mommy's. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! What kind is it? Pink. Oh, it's pink. Now our next stop was a little bit of a hike to get to. It's the McClarty Treasure Museum. It's located toward the north end of Vero Beach, almost in Sebastian, Florida. Vero Beach, Florida is of course located on Florida's Treasure Coast, which is so named because the Spanish fleet in 1755 was stricken by a hurricane early in the morning. When the hurricane struck the ships, many of them lost control and wrecked into the deep darkness. There were a few survivors who did make it ashore. In 1964, Mel Fisher came to the state of Florida and recovered some of these artifacts. And some of them are displayed here in the Treasure Museum. Also inside is a 45 minute video that gives you an overview and a history of the Treasure Coast. Behind the Treasure Museum is a boardwalk that goes right out to the water. The views are beautiful and the end of it is shaped like a pirate ship. So Vivian enjoyed a steering the wheel and she got to be a pirate for the day. But I think my favorite part is that the admission was only $2 per person. Now for the next stop on our list, we're gonna eat lunch at Ay Jalisco Mexican restaurant on US1. Now there are lots of restaurants to choose from in Vero Beach, Florida, but when we're hungry and we're in Vero, we typically head over to US1. There are a number of different restaurants to choose from there, including a Japanese steakhouse, a Chinese restaurant, uh, Ay Jalisco here, the Mexican restaurant, and so much more. All right, our food has arrived and it's really hot, <laughs> but I got the uh, fajita burrito and you get this whole ton of food and it's only $7.99, so we're here for that. And I got the same thing. She got beef and I got chicken. And for the next stop on our list, we're going to check out the Vero Beach Museum of Art. The Vero Beach Museum of Art is a facility of about 55,000 square feet. They also have an educational wing and it looks like they have classes actually in the museum. The exhibits while we were present included the Poetry of Nature, which is on loan from the New York Historical Society. And another display that we really enjoyed um, was by this Korean artist and he used lights and mirrors to kind of create spaces of um, optical illusions that almost looked infinite. Behind the museum, there's an outdoor sculpture garden as well. So you can walk down the back steps and then see all of the sculptures that are located back there. The Vero Beach Art Museum is located just down the road from the world famous Riverside Theater in Vero Beach. 
The Vero Beach Riverside Theater hosts close to 300 performances annually on three stages. It attracts nearly 100,000 people to its performances annually. Right now we're taking you to the outlets in Vero Beach, which are conveniently located just off of I-95. So the internet says that there are about 40 different designer brands which are uh, located all throughout this <laughs> sprawling complex. And uh, that's probably true, but to be honest, a lot of the spots are kind of vacant. Yeah, there are some stores that I always look for at outlets that they don't have here. For example, they don't have an Old Navy, which I feel like is pretty common at an outlet area, but they don't have one here. So I don't know about that. Yeah, and it's not quite as big or as nice as like the St. Augustine outlets or Daytona or um, West Palm Beach, but they're here. Yep, and it's a nice <laughs> place to walk around. Vivian's favorite part of any outlet. If it has a fountain, then she's here for it. There are so many fountains here, and so Vivian's trying to climb into another one. All right, for dinner this evening, we're gonna go to 14 Bones, which is located on US-1. It's a great barbecue place. They have some fantastic sides. We love it. All right, fried okra is an appetizer here. You can get it for $5. So of course we're gonna get some and share. What did you get? Yeah, your favorite. Can you taste it? It's not. Okay, our food has arrived and we got the family platter and it is huge for $36.99. And I think we're gonna be taking it home and eating it for the next couple of days probably. Okay, so in this giant meal that we have, we have two baked potatoes, cheese grits, collard greens, and then we have this huge platter of chicken and ribs and toast, and it looks like chicken, some more chicken, or maybe turkey, and then beef brisket, sausage. We have everything on this table right now. If you've enjoyed this video, then we invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida.